You know, I was reading the comments in the last video, the tutorial we did for After Effects, and everyone was very excited to see a tutorial again. They were like, Pete's at the desk. Pete's back doing tutorials. Did you miss that? Would you like to see more of that? I love teaching. I've I've got lots to, do we have lots to teach? Let me know, let me if you want, if you want to see more tutorials and like, I just, uh, I wanted to give you variety. I, feel, I don't want you chained to the desk, right? I thought you'd get bored of that, but I mean, let me know. Hit me up, let's have a conversation. One of the questions I get asked all the time is how do you get such crispy looking photos on Instagram? Now, I don't mean that as in how are your photos so excellent? How are you such a fantastic photographer? How are your shots so fire? Quite literally, how do you get sharp images? How are your photos not being compressed by the trash, by the hot, hot trash that is Instagram in 2022? Let's be honest. I've always been a little perplexed to that question because I don't really do anything out of the ordinary. I don't really do anything weird or special or unique. There's no secret sauce that PM uses to get sharp shots. So officially, this is Peter McKinnon's hot tips for exporting photos and videos to the hot trash that is Instagram. One of the first things I do is I always size the photo in Lightroom four by five. Now this is a lot easier if you're shooting vertical already, you just go up to the drop down and select four by five and it's done for you. But recently in talking with friends, Brim Hall actually in one of those videos was saying, always shoot horizontal because that aspect ratio is far more useful than just ending up with a library full of verticals. And if you wanna crop it into a vertical, uh, you still can do that. You're gonna go up here to the crop tool and now you've got a four by five out of your horizontal. Cause you can always use a horizontal for print and framing and desktop backgrounds or whatever, banners, website. Whereas when you have a vertical shot, you wanna make a thumbnail, you wanna make something for YouTube or social media, you just can't, you're stuck with the vertical. So either do both or if you had to choose horizontal, then make it vertical after. Now I'm shooting raw already. So that's your first tip is shoot raw. When I'm done shooting and I'm done my edits, literally I click export, I select nothing. I keep it on JPEG, 100%, dimensions are full size. I don't click any more drop downs at all. I just hit export and I save it to my desktop. This is where maybe people might lose quality. From that point, I airdrop it to my phone. I use Mac, so that is one of the greatest features Apple's ever made. So if you have a file on your desktop, you just right click, select share, airdrop, and then your phone's gonna pop up. You click your phone and it's instantly on your camera roll. From there, I put it on Instagram like anyone else would. Now that is literally all I am doing to get the quality of photos that I have on my account on Instagram. That is it, that's the whole process. Now before we go any further, let me just address the elephant in the room. Cause I know you're thinking it. You're thinking to yourself, Pete, that is a fire jacket. That red really pops off the background. And I could not agree more. This is a bomber jacket from Cuts Clothing, the sponsor of this video. Cuts will ensure that when you post crispy bangers to Instagram of their clothing, they are in the highest of resolution. This is my favorite thing from them. It works over a hoodie. It works over a t-shirt. It works with nothing. I won't show you those photos. Hidden pockets, secret pockets everywhere. The cuffs are just tasty. They're the right amount of give. They're not like so loose. You just stick your arm through and you're like, that was unsatisfying. It's just like, a little bit of resistance and then your, your arm is through. It's just, it feels good, it looks good, it's rich in color and it looks great in videos. I thought to myself, I'll wear my red bomber because it'll pop on the video and I know you were thinking about it. You might be saying, no, I wasn't thinking about it. You were thinking about it. There was a second where you thought, that's a nice color. It's called Cabernet. I think I might pour myself a little bit of that right after this vid. Probably won't because it's like 11.30 a.m. <laughs> when in Rome. Now it's not just bomber jackets. If you're looking to pick up some new hoodies, t-shirts, I guess some nice new waffle shirts. Is that what you call them? Waffle shirts? There's so many different names of shirts. And I love the fact that there's no branding really on any of it. That's key. A tiny little X at the bottom. And that's cool. I just tattooed an X on my palm. 
Hell, we could say I just tattooed the Cuts logo on my palm. Does that give me lifetime clothing? I mean, I branded myself. So for discount on Cuts clothing, hit the link in the description below. Fantastic company, great people doing great things. That's always my favorite mix. That is without exception here. Now when it comes to reels or vertical video on social media, we try to make that easier by shooting physically vertical. I don't hold the camera horizontal and then chop out the sides. I don't want to lose any information by doing that. So I want the whole frame to be vertical from the get-go. So I hold the camera in a vertical fashion and I shoot my video that way. That's probably what most people are doing these days. Now, if you're exporting vertical video within Premiere, again, if you're already shooting vertical, when you dump that footage into your timeline, it's going to adjust the sequence to whatever that native footage is. So your export settings for Premiere Pro are gonna be your default high quality settings. Nine by 16 and HD would be like 1080 by 1920 or 4K would be 2160 by 3840 so that you'd get the vertical aspect ratio out of that. And bit rate, I usually have around 20 to 30. That's it. Ain't no sauce on that. And once I've saved that to my desktop, I can right click on that, click share, and then airdrop it to my phone. That loses zero quality. Then you can upload it to Instagram, TikTok, shorts, whatever vertical format you desire. So that's it for me. It was just a super fast kind of Monday tutorial, literally addressing a question I do get all the time. And I see in the comments a lot. Hopefully by making this, it helped even just one of you get your photos or videos a little bit sharper looking when you post them to social media. So hit the like button if you like this video. I should say hit the hype button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Hello, I'm now wearing a hood. An hood. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> this is Kirk's. It sits on top of one of his speakers. I believe it's called the Razor Quest. <laughs> Razor Crest. <laughs> like the toothpaste, right? This is the way. This is also on Kirk's desk. That's a TIE Fighter. Not an X-Wing. It's a TIE Fighter. When people call these X-Wings, it pisses me off. Lastly on Kirk's desk, the captain himself. Cap captain Kirk. Is that Captain Kirk? I've, I don't watch Star Trek. I was just thought Star Wars was better. I don't like their uniforms. I'm not a big uniform guy. <laughs>